Hello, I'm Andrew Burns from the Merdick Arena UCC and this workout is a 10-10-10 workout. Okay? There will be a 10 minute warm up, okay? it will consist of cardiovascular work and mobility work. Okay? You will do each exercise for one minute. We will then go into the main circuit. There will be 10 exercises, each one minute in duration. They are largely strength exercises and then we will repeat that 10 minutes. So you will have three blocks of 10 minutes, okay, but one repeats. Okay, let's get ready to warm up. We'll start with jumping jacks and then we'll progress on. Okay, feet together, open ourselves up nice and slowly now. We're trying to warm up here. So we just bring our intensity up nice and easy, okay? Steady increase of pace here. Okay, in the warm up, I'll try and largely do the cardio first to get your body warm, so I'll raise the body temperature, then I'll activate, I'll mobilize, and finally we'll do some bit of potentiation. Keep it up now, nice and consistent, and a steady increase in pace. What I try to do here is I take them 15 second blocks, and I bring my pace up each 15 seconds. Okay. Right, get ready to change. Feet underneath your hips. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do an opposite arm leg kick and punch, okay? So I kick with my left, punch with my right. My left, punch with my right. Just try and get your foot as high as you can. You don't necessarily have to get it up the chest side. You may not have the flexibility, but I just want you to kick and punch at the same time. Punch comes off the shoulder, kick comes from the ground, kick out nice and long. I'm just going to go to the side here just so you can get a better idea. Try and stay upright and tall and again try and bring the pace up as you go. Just get yourself warm and again now slowly but surely bringing the pace up here. Push, 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 five seconds to go. Open yourself up. Okay, right. Feet nice and wide, standing straddle. Right hand down to left foot, left hand up, and then swap over each side. Just trying to open you up here now in your lower back, your trunk, and your groin area. Try and reach over the outside of your baby toe as you become a little bit more flexible. Stay with it now. Just focus on what you're doing. Try and get a little bit more out of it each time. Good stuff. Let's go for a side lunge and a reach. So you reach to the side, reaching over. Back to feet together, go to the left, and reach up. Back to feet together, reach up. Good stuff. Yeah, there's not much emphasis on pace with this one, okay? Just try and open up your groin, try and open up your hip as you're twisting. Reach as far as you can. Don't be worried about going too far just yet. Remember, you're just warming up. It's an opportunity just to get you fully warmed up now. Before we go in. The main start, okay? There's only really 20 minutes of hard work in this. So we're really gonna open you up because we're gonna go continuously. Okay, we're not gonna stop. There's gonna be no break. Right, okay. Side step and arm swing. Feet together. Go to the side, swing the arms over. Go to the side, swing the arms over. Each time. There's one step each time. And the arms are gonna cross. 
body. Get them up to shoulder height. If you feel up to it, try and put in a bit of a twist so that your arms are going back behind you. But if you're just managing to get your arms across shoulder height, that's fine too. Okay? You want to add a twist, obviously. Get up now, try and put an emphasis on the pace with this. You'll find your own rhythm with this as well, in terms of the arm swing. Work with it. Okay, very good. Right, I'm just gonna grab my chair. This is just some hip mobility, so I sat down. Grab my knee, no. I've got my right knee, and I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. Stretch the hip out. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each side here. Okay, so I'm looking over my right shoulder with this one. I'm hugging my knee in nice and close. And again, I'm just trying to emphasize the outside of that hip into the glute. All right, swap sides. Same thing again, I'm going over my left shoulder. I'm just trying to keep the emphasis again on that glute. And I'm trying to hug the knee in as close as I can. Okay, so oftentimes you have your forearm just underneath your knee as you're trying to get yourself down. Try and stay upright and tall as well. Push the chest up each time. Okay, right, let's change it. Just gonna get rid of my chair. Okay, step back. Lunge, hands up, nice and high, reach all the way up. Up, down, hands up, look at my hands, reach all the way up. That's it. Up, down, reach all the way up. I'm gonna put an emphasis on the hip flexor here. Push all the way up to the top, okay? So when we're stepping back, when I reach up, what I'm doing is putting more emphasis through that hip, just opening my hips up. Up, down, up. Three more minutes now left. Three exercises, and we get through some hard work. Good work. Keep it up now. Get ready for a change. Okay, so just gonna do our runner's lunge. Down in the press up position. I'll take my left leg first. I'm gonna go outside, try and get my left foot up, my left hand. And then I'm gonna sit the hips in. Okay, so I'm gonna push the hips down, try and get that knee close to the floor. I don't touch it off the floor. I'm just trying to open my hips a little bit more here. I'm gonna change sides now in a second. I'm gonna do this facing the camera and the foot. Okay, right. So here we go. My right leg is up this time. It's outside my elbow. I'm trying to get the foot up outside my palm and I want to drop the hips forward. So 15 seconds left now. I'm going to do this on both sides. Good work. Maybe rock back and forward, just try and open those hips a little bit more. That's it. Okay. Right, next up, nice and easy, heel up the butt. So I'm just going to grab my heel, pull it into my butt each time. So I'm walking along, grabbing, Pull in, give it a good solid pull, then take a step or two and go to the opposite side. I'm still trying to bring my knees together, okay? And I'm still trying to pull my belly button into my spine. So only for a short period, but I'm trying to open up my quads here. Yeah, we've got a long warm up now today because we're gonna do some tough work. Okay, there we go, that's it. Good stuff. And that's it. Right, 10 seconds to go. I'm gonna do a ladder step over for the last one. Okay, keep it up now. Just keep pulling that heel into the body each time. Okay, right. I'm gonna use this magic circle. Use a towel yourself. Step over. Opposite side and step over. 
Okay. Just the child in front of you, it works better, go up and step over. I want you to imagine you've got a fence in front of you, but waist so tight, you're stepping over it. Okay, each time. Good stuff. And again, just taking the opportunity to open up our hips here. Good work. Nearly there now. We're gonna go into our main circuit. It's gonna be 10 exercises in a row. Okay, you're gonna do as many as you can. You're gonna see me on the video. I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna take an extra breather at some point. Okay, but I'm gonna keep coming back in to do the work. Okay? I'll encourage you all the way. And I'll tell you to take a little breather. Right, first exercise. Squat down and up, knee to elbow. Squat down, knee to elbow. So you're going opposite knee to opposite elbow. Keep it up now. Sit down, nice and deep. Feet about hip distance apart. You're gonna take a full minute with this, right? So there's not an emphasis on pace with this workout. There's an emphasis on repetitions, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get a minimum of 10 repetitions in in this. I'm giving you a full minute to get that in. If you can get more, there's no law against it. Work away. But push yourself during that minute. See if you can get more. Can you get multiples of 10? Think about that. That's the one. Emphasis on 10. We'll just keep making stuff up to correspond with 10. Good work. Right, drop down. We're gonna do a T push up. Right, so we push up. Once we get to the top, we turn around. Hand up, make ourselves into a T. When we do our press up again, we turn around on the opposite side. Start on the right, go to the left. That's it. Try not to lose your balance just like I did there. But keep it up. That's it. Drop down, get the chest as close as you can, and swing over. And T press up. Get a small bit of core work in here as well. Huge emphasis on the upper body. Remember you're transferring all that weight onto one shoulder each time. Your shoulder's already involved in the push-up, and now you're making it do more work. That's it. Keep it up, push, up, that's the one. All right, next up, hip hinge. Okay, so we're standing up, bend over at the hip, and dive into the swimming pool, hand over your head, and bring the hands back, from all the way to the top. Bend over, keep the legs nice and straight, exercise the hamstrings, hands all the way out. When you put those hands all the way out, it feels you feel a hamstring here. Shaking, provided you've gotten into an L, and you have to hold that position while you dive into the swimming pool. Okay? My hands are going straight out, taking them away from my center of gravity, and I'm putting that emphasis entirely onto my hamstrings. Stick with it now. Stay with us. Don't let it go just yet. That's the one. Keep it up, turn it over, keep going, here we go. All right, another minute, what are we gonna do this time? Okay, mountain climber, one outside with mountain climber this time. Up, up. Get the knee up to the elbow, take it nice and quick. All right, tap the foot on the floor if you want to. No harm in that. Good, that's it. I feel it now, good work. Now if you need an extra second, take it. If you don't, if you're a glutton for punishment like me, just get the knee up outside that elbow each time. Keep it going. Come on, we're doing great here. Push, push, that's it. All right, as I've said before on a lot of these videos, next time I'll design a class, I have to remember that I have to do it with you as well. That's it, good, good work. Push, all right, okay. Right, grab a mat, or a toe, and then single leg hip raise. All right, get the heel up. 
hands on the floor, pop it up. Go 30 seconds each side. Okay, now if you can't get your knee like this, there's nothing wrong. I'm just having your foot out like that. Tends to be a bit harder though. Okay, you gotta try and keep the knees in line to get full emphasis on one glute. Now when one side gets tired, just change. We'll watch my supporting leg. My supporting leg has the heel dug into the floor. Okay. So I'm really emphasizing my glute. Getting a hip up, get it nice and in line with the knee and then the shoulder. Each time, nearly there. Yeah, there we are. Right, we're on the floor. Straight into a V up. Nice long hands. Right, make a V, reach. There we go. Keep it up now. Remember, you're on exercise six of 10. Keep going. Just push this up as hard as you can. Remember, your aim is to get at least 10 reps in each exercise. In the second round, you'll see why I'm giving you a minute to get 10 reps. Okay, it's because you're gonna be tired like you are right now doing the veal. And you're gonna need more time. 20 seconds in this round. Come on, what's your count at? I think I'm at seven. I'll get three more in. That's it. Reach up to those feet, crunch in those abdominals. Each time. That's the one. Keep it going. Push. Ah. Good work. Right, what's next on the list? Okay, somebody was being cruel. They want burpees. Right, down we go. Get the feet in, walk them in, come up, jump. Drop down, one, one, two, in you go, jump. Doing well here now, back to the cardio. We just gotta worry about working hard. Keep going, come on, push, push, up. That's it, walk it down, walk it in, come up. Walk it down, walk it in, jump. Come on, push, get all the way down. Come all the way to the top. All right. Push. There we go. Yeah. We're doing it. Come on. I'm going to turn around so that I can see the timer. 15 seconds. Push. That's the one. Come on. Push. Each time. Take the toes in. Jump. That's it. One more. Come on. We can do one more. That's the, that's the stuff. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Feel good now. Okay. Right. Let's get to the bicycle. Come on. I've only got a minute to do this. Might as well make the most of it. Right elbow, left knee, plenty of core work in this circuit. Right. Keep it up. Push. Push. Oh. 20 seconds. Remember, you want to get to at least 10 now in the minute. If you need an extra breather, take an extra breather. I'm just gonna keep working. That's it. 10 seconds. Come on. Right. There we are. There we are. All right, good work. What do we got next? Oh, right, let's do some lunging. We're standing back. And up, and knee twist. Step back, up. Knee twist. Step back, up, twist. That's it, get that knee up, crunch in on that. Dude, drop down, over. Yeah, that's the one. Here we go, push. Come on. Will this time ever be up? <laughs> that's it, good work. Nine exercises done now after this, we're nearly there at the first 10. That's it, nearly have 10 minutes done then as well. We only got the floor wire raise left. Ah, oh, I'm falling over. That's it, crunching the abdominals every time. I know they're getting tired, but that's the point. Come on, yeah, up we come. Let's drive it up. Yeah, there we are. Push, all right, good. All right, get to the floor, come on. The floor right away. Right, I'm down, get my hands in a wide. Come up, work my back. My head is coming off the ground with this, okay? You'll see other variations where I've got the hands like this. I don't really like that because there's not as much work. Come up, get the chest off the floor, get the lats working. 
pull the belly button in to the tummy. So then keep the abdominals involved in this as well. Now be careful with this, go as far as you can. Breathe out on the way up. Whoa. That's it. The hands are in a Y shape now, so I'm going up at 45 degrees. Up. Yeah. Push. 15 seconds. Come on. We can get a couple more in. Gluttons for punishment. That's what we are. Come on, you're going to feel great after this. You're going to finish one round and you go straight into the second one. That's it. Up. Right. Let's go. Straight up again. Get rid of that mat. I know, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. Right, drop down, squat, knee to elbow. That's it, drop down, squat, knee to elbow. Yeah, we're doing good. Push, yeah, here. We're still there, come on. I'm starting to feel good now. I think I've gone all day, how about you? Right, push, good work, drop down, open, yeah. Good stuff, keep it up. Drop down, again, feet. About hip distance apart, you're sitting down and then you're coming up knee to elbow each time. You're really well. Oh, we've got about 20 seconds left. Let's get another 10 in, okay? So, what did you get? Three sets of 10, you get 30 squats in. Well done. If you got 30 in the last one, that's 60. What if you got 50 and 50? No, you got 100. That's your multiple of 10, isn't it? Keep it going. That's it. Keep going. Push. Right. Oh, T press up. Remember that fella? We loved him the last time. Right, down we go. Drop down. Right, push up. Come over on the side. Make yourself into a T. Come down. Back up again. Bring yourself over. Yeah, doing well here. Give it down. There we are. Over. Come on. We gotta push through each one. Come on, we gotta get to a minimum of 10 push ups. 30 seconds done. Hopefully you're over halfway. If you need an extra breather, take an extra breather. I'm probably gonna take a sip of water next, in a second. All right. If you need it, take it. Don't let me stop you. Ah, oh, there we are, good stuff. Come on, drop down, breathe out, push. Up we go. Drop down, breathe out. Up we go, into a T. Come on, we get one more press up here. That's it, all right. What's next? Ah, oh, hip hinge, we're diving into the pool. Okay, right, feet underneath the hips, turn over, right hand over, right hand over, put the emphasis on the hamstrings, bring the hands back, come up right towards the tree. Turn over, right, over, over, bring it back, bring it back. Up we come. Yeah, we're doing good. Come on, get ourselves down to an L, and dive into the swimming pool. Hands go directly over your head. Elbows next to your temple. You're doing really well. Keep it up. Try to emphasize the hamstrings with this one. You're trying to flex them out. You're trying to get them to develop a bit of strength as well. 15 seconds though, come on. What's your target for this one? Remember what it is. If it's just 10 and you're already there, don't be afraid, do more. There's no law against it. Not yet anyway. That's it. Good, yeah, we're all right. We're doing okay. Great, okay. Great work. Okay, what's next? Oh, our favorite, the mountain climber. Right, there we go. Right, right knee outside, then left knee outside, and get the emphasis on those abdominals. Get those obliques working. Come on, that's it. Come on, everybody's got a bit of motivation to do this one. Whether it's a waistline, or a suit, or a dress, or you just like core work. Get going. Keep the feet together when they come back static and then get them out wide. Okay, I'm reducing your basic support. All right, I'm taking a drink. Keep going, if you can. Come on, we've got 10 seconds left. Let's do some, come on. Let's see if we can do five. At least that way we know we definitely got a 10. Come on, push, that's it. Get the 10 reps in and then get some more. All right, okay. Ah, oh, right, single leg hip raise. I'm getting my mat. I'm lying down. Dig the heel into the floor. Up we come. Remember, I do it on one side. I go to fatigue, which will take about 30 seconds. I should get 10 in. 
and then I change. Now there is absolutely no law against you changing at any point. Keep the heel on the floor, so my toes are off the floor. Keep an eye there now, are your toes off the floor? Get them up, keep it going. That's it, you're doing well. Just gotta stick with this now, get that hip up nice and high. Change as often as you like. Okay, and don't be worried if your glute is not as strong on one side as it is the other. That's just something to work on. Okay, for me, if you watch closely, my right side isn't as strong. That's from the marathon training. All right, okay, let's go. What's next? Oh, we're still down, feet off crunch. Come on, nice and wide. Keep the feet about six inches off the floor. Pull everything together, hands come together. Shoulders come up, reach for the toes. Try and pull the toes back towards you as well. Oh yeah. Oh. Right, keep it going now. Keep the legs up, keep the tension on the abdominals as much as you can. Try and make yourself into a V. Okay, I don't really mind about the angle. I just get people to do this one. It's such a nice exercise. Get so much of your abdominals in. Lower, middle and higher if you can do it correctly. Focus on the execution here now. Get yourself into a V and then reach for those feet. Get those feet up nice and high and then reach towards them. Come on, get one more. Yeah. Um, okay, right. Burpees, come on. Everybody loves a burpee. Let's get them involved. Down we go. In, up. There we go. Walk it out. Come on. In, up. There we are. That's the one. Push. You're doing well. If you're still moving, you're doing well. Okay? And just in case you're like, I'm blowing, I'm breathing. Oh God, I can't do this. Well, you're still moving, because your chest is still moving. So keep going. That's it. You're still breathing, you're still moving. Keep going, get down, give me one. You only need to start with one, all right? You've probably already got to 10 right now. Everything else is a bonus. And that's good. Come on, we love bonus territory and exercise. Keep going, push, come on, go, go, go. Brilliant, last one. Ah. There we are. Right, 60 seconds. All right, what have we got left? Right, bicycle, come on. Matt comes back out. Right elbow to left knee. Get the shoulder off the floor, come on. Whatever motivates, you know. Whatever made you pick this exercise. Class. Maybe you just wanted to get active for half an hour. Get yourself a little bit fitter. That's a good reason. Hold on to it. Okay. Maybe you don't have any motivation at all. That's okay too. Just keep moving. The motivation will come. Come on. 15 seconds left. Let's make sure we have our 10 in. Get the shoulder off, get the elbow down on the knee. Come on, push. Oh yeah, we're doing okay here. That's it, all right, okay. Right, reverse lunge with a twist. Just shoving this core mat out of the way. Okay, all right, step back, drop down. All right, up, knee twist. Come on, twist right around. Look over your shoulder, that's it. Good work. Change sides every time. Push. That's the one. You're doing well. You're over halfway through this now. Okay. You've got one exercise left. And then you've got 30 minutes of work done. Well done. All right. You should be congratulating yourself right now. You're going to finish. Okay. That's it. Keep it up. That's the one. Push. Remember now, if you need to pause this, take another minute. And do it and break it up. Do it. Don't worry about that. That's absolutely fine. Okay. You're trying to manage your activity. That's the good thing. All right. Get ready now. Got the floor is next. All right. Well, I'm getting my mat for last time. Okay. Put down. Hands out. Let's get ourselves in a warrior position. All right. Pull up. Yeah. There we go. Get up each time. Get the head off the floor too. Put that through your back, okay? You should feel that in your mid-back. 
And again, if your point is too hard, yeah, you can just do the arms if you want to. I know I said earlier I don't like it, and I don't. But I like the idea of you exercising more. Keep it going. Come on. 20 seconds left. Let's see if we can get a few more in. Push. 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 Just keep turning yourself up and drag yourself off the floor. All right. Oh well. That was hard. All right. Well done. I'm Andrew Burns from the Marnik Arena UCC. I'm a lifestyle and physical activity manager. If you like this workout, share it with a friend. Come back and view it as often as you like. Well done. Stay safe, stay active.